I'm Lisa Reynolds. I'm a part of the HR leadership team at Christus Health, and I've been here 25 years, a long time. I've seen a lot of change. And I'm going to be sharing with you briefly an overview of two events where we use Thought Exchange to help us with our engagement strategies in different ways and what we gain from that. And my colleague Claire will share with you a specific case study and why they use Thought Exchange for their needs. So the two events that I want to tell you about, we used a different approach to facilitate the conversation. And the first one I want to tell you about is what we called Christus 100, which was an event last October where we invited 100 of our 300 executives to come to a, an event to refuel our culture. It had been nearly two years since we'd been in the pandemic and we really wanted to get back to who we were as an organization and refuel our culture so our leaders were engaged because we know they have the biggest impact on our associate engagement. And so we wanted to have this smaller intimate group instead of all our executives so we could have some listening circles that we called leadership circles. We wanted some facilitated conversation and a way to capture that. So I went to my colleague Tobias Washington over the Associate Digital Experience and said, do you have a solution for how we could automate this rather than just typing up all the notes? And he, he knew about Thought Exchange and we put it to work at this event. So at this event, these are the five topics that we wanted to have discussion around and get input from the leaders on how to solve these issues. And we broke the leaders out into groups. They had an hour each. Um, we had them pick two of the topics that they wanted to participate in. They got to register for that ahead of time. And we spent 45 minutes in a facilitated discussion. And the last 15 minutes, based on that discussion, discussion, what were the top strategies they thought we should implement to address each of these topics? And then we used the discussion uh, to share a summary the next day so people could see what the summary strategies were. And then we created a report to share with our CEO cabinet about the recommendations for each topic. And I know resilience and well-being is top of mind. So I wanted to share that one. You can see the top thoughts about what we should do to address resilience and well-being. And on the right-hand side, you can see the number of thoughts we had for that topic. For all five um, topics, we had 473 thoughts. So we had a lot of participation. People appreciated the technology and they felt really safe sharing. Based on all the recommendations, the CEO cabinet, who is our CEO and his direct reports, they came up with the, some commitments based on all the ideas that the organization would make. And you can see the commitments there. If you're wondering what living our values is, we've had our values for 23 years, but we didn't have behaviors that defined how you live them. So we're rolling that program out. We've committed to that. And that really is how we demonstrate our one Christus. And you can see the other activities. I'm gonna be moving through the slides fairly quickly in the interest of time, but I will share them with Andy so he can get them out to all of you so you can look at them in a little more detail if I'm going too fast. And then also based on the recommendations, we had expectations of the leaders that were there in attendance that we wanted them to do, again, because we know the engagement of their teams, their relationship with them is so critical. And one of the most important things that came out of that is we wanted them rounding on their teams again and using the rounding form that we use, which we recently updated by adding a question, um, when in the last month have you experienced our mission? And when you experienced, how did you feel? So to reconnect people to mission and purpose. Because this event was so successful, we wanted to bring a group of our nurse leaders together because we know the staffing recruitment and retention challenges in healthcare right now with nurses. So we brought a little over 40 nurse leaders together and we called it our nurse leadership circle. And what we did differently with thought exchange for this meeting was when people were registering, they also had two questions from thought exchange to answer. And the first 
what are the top three actions we should be taking to increase two-way communication with frontline nurses? And we got 34 thoughts on that. And the second question was, what are the top three actions we should be taking to recruit and retain our nurses? And we got 56 thoughts on that. And we use that information to create questions for the panel that we had at that session with our chief human resource officer, our chief medical officer, our chief nursing officer, and our VP of health equity and inclusion. And so that really made the panel meaningful because they were talking about topics that were relevant to the nurses. And then we also used those topics to break the group out into four groups to talk about what was most important and get their ideas on how to solve that. And not surprisingly, um, top of license came up as a critical issue technology at the bedside. How can we make it more efficient? Because we know, just as Andy said, the use of technology, if it's not working right, creates so much burnout and stress. How do we make sure our frontline leaders are the best that they can be, again, because they have the biggest impact with their teams? And how do we ensure we have a talent pipeline? So we had a lot of strategies coming out of both of these meetings that people are still working on along with other strategies. And you know, if you may be asking, how do you know if any of these were successful? And the one that we love to share the most is that our engagement polls that just ended, our engagement for bedside RN engagement was 75, which is two points above the healthcare benchmark for Glint. That's the vendor that we use. And it was up one from our previous polls. And you can see the trend line um, through the past year, which was a very difficult year, has gone up. And this score is the highest that we've ever had in Christus for bedside RN engagement. So we really feel the thoughts that we got from Thought Exchange are helping us drive this. 